All right, everybody. Uh, actually, doing a recent vid on an update that um, I've been wanting to do for a while, and it's basically these LED lights. So I'll kind of go through some of the features of this LED system, and I'll post the link below inside the um, the information uh, tab or whatnot, so that you guys can actually see exactly what model it is if you want to purchase it. So. Basically, I've been wanting to highlight my video game display because I typically don't play these a lot. Um, you know, when I when I want to play them, I'll take them off the shelf, hook them up because they're in very great condition. But other than that, they're always on a shelf. So this lighting system has a few features. I'll go through some of the different colors. Uh, there's basically four uh, categories. There's a red, green, blue, and white category. You can dim the lights up and down. Uh, you can actually do a strobe effect, you can do a white flash effect, and just different jump and different uh, fade type uh, systems or whatnot. So I'll start with the colors. These are the red variations, uh, dark red, going all the way down to like a light green. Here's your green category. Going down kind of to like a, a bluish color. Here's your blue category. and then your white category. So, you know, in all in all, it's about one, two, three, four, five, 20 different color variations. Uh, here is the, uh, the auto um, effect. Here's a flash, which is basically just flashes the white one. There's a jump, this is one that's called jump three. This is jump seven. And the numbers don't really correlate to too much, just different jumps. And all it does is just basically go through the cycles. And here's the fade one. Actually, this is the best one I like. This is this one's called fade three. And there's another one that's called fade seven. And it's it just fades it quicker, you know, simply. Um You can use the arrow buttons to um, select different colors um, and in different categories. So here's the, so I'll go back to green because green is pretty prominent. So you can actually dim this. This is pretty much full blast and I can dim it down a few notches. So where it's almost, you know, it's not even there. Uh, and then I can go back up full blast. Okay, all of this is done by this remote. So here how here's how the remote looks. And for the price of this, I mean it's about $23. I actually thought this was a really cool um little feature that they have the remote. You don't have to just set it manually. The one good thing about this is it's a 3M tape uh backing. So basically all you do is peel the back off the LED strip and basically just start um, you know, applying it to whatever surface you want. I actually applied this to the cabinets or to the cube boxing itself. Um, reason being is I didn't want to put it on my wall and then when I take the strip off then it freaking kills your paint. So I would put it on the item itself, something that, you know, you don't mind, um, you know, screwing up or whatnot. So this, this feature is pretty cool. The remote, like I said, the remote's cool. Um, what else is we have that's pretty much all the features and like I said I'll post it uh, basically the link in the uh, description bar and you guys can see that there's a couple of different variations there's also one model that actually you can actually play music and it'll by the sound it'll strobe itself so I guess that's pretty cool if you're playing music and then you want it to affect but here's the thing it's even if you're talking it's gonna make it move so not that great of a feature. There's different lengths. So I have the 16 feet or 16 foot one. And there is probably, I think it's up to 50. So 16 foot for this. And I just actually wrapped this around two times. And I'll probably knock out some of those cute boxes so that the color shines through. My next feature will be the, let's see. 
the arcade system, which is here. And you guys can kind of see that. That's a arcade. And I'll actually just put that on the back and just kind of doing a LED lighting on the arcade. So that's pretty cool there. So if you guys have any questions, please post your comments. Please subscribe. And I'll be uploading more videos uh, soon. There will be probably some HD 60 Elgato uh, videos, which I'll basically record most of the games that I have in 60 FPS. I have a few Call of Duty uh, recent uploads of the Black Ops 2 beta, so check that out. Really, um, some really good vids, and I'm really liking the way that Black Ops 3 is coming out. So check that out. But let me let me know what you guys think about this uh, this LED. So this is going to be um, half of the vid. I will put maybe a minute or two up of how it looks when the room is dark. It's very bright outside. It's about 2 o'clock p.m. So this room is kind of lit up even with the blinds closed. So it's not going to really show the LED any justice. And the camera really doesn't show it justice as well because the way the beams and the way the light pattern is showing up on the camera, it looks like it's a like a, a bad type ring. But it, I assure you, when you're looking at it, it just looks so much better. It almost looks as if the video games are glowing in the back. And that's what that strip does for you. And I just basically applied the strip a little lower than the edge so that it didn't, so that you couldn't see it. So if you're looking straight at it, you can't see the strip. And then also, if you look at the empty cubes, you can't see the strip either. So some of the back end, I'm, I actually take that back. Some of the back end, I'm not going to be able to remove just because I actually put the LED strips on the backing. Uh, but still, it looks good. Um, and I'll probably most likely add another one. I'll probably add another cube and then go with that. And, and then you can have like, you know, two or three daisy chains. So this, uh, this does give you an option to hook up another one uh, and use the same power unit. There is some people that had some issues with their power, but this is something that I would not keep on the entire night. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to do something like that. And that's probably why that small electrical unit is burning out. So I'll kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. It's right there, that little white piece. And that's basically the uh, the remote feature. Yeah, I think that has a little LED sensor or whatnot because I have to point it somewhere in that vicinity for it to work. So, like I said, I'll post some night night videos and attach it to this. So it'll probably be about maybe 10 minutes longer. So, uh, so like I said, let me know what you guys think and please.